What's up? What's up? John Halley, get Rip Show Custom Come. Protein drink. Bit of creatine in there. BCAs to help me out with the uh, all that kind of good stuff for the muscle building. Anyway, I wanted to get into this uh, this video is just quickly just to help you out again. This is just another routine uh, that I've just finished now. If I stay a bit low on energy because I've just literally uh, let's have a look at this. I've just literally finished two, almost two hours of a workout and I've still got like a low intense steady state cardio on the treadmill so almost two hours. I brought my game today, you know, I really did, I brought my game and I really smashed it out. I got so much done today as in a good workout and you know, sometimes you do, it, you know, like sometimes you might be in the gym for 45 minutes to an hour, an hour and a half, but sometimes you know, you just need to bring it and just smash it for a good couple of hours, you know what, because it's real worth it at the end, so... Let me just go through my workout routine, my workout routine today uh, that I did, um, and you know, it, it might give you some ideas. I hope it does. Anyway, so the first thing I did um, was I actually today was chest, carbs, and abs. Basically, chest because uh, that's one of my weaker areas, and so I'm trying to develop that more and more. Um, carbs because who doesn't like having good solid carbs, right? Walking down the street, you know, and you have these good solid carbs. Um, you know, it makes you feel strong and uh, you know, who doesn't like that? And plus abs, who doesn't like to have good abs? So, I was working on what, what we call my weaker, my, my, weight, my weaker parts today. So chest, calves and abs. So, my first workout, my first workout was, uh, uh, it was a decline bench press. And as you can see, I just smashed it out, one, two, three, four. Just really smashed it out, this was 15 to 20 reps. This one here was 12 to 25 reps at 20 kilos. Uh, you know, you had uh, 8 to 12 reps at uh, 40 kilos. I sort of maxed out there around 50 kilos. Well, not really maxed, because that was 50 kilos with 8 reps, so I probably could have gone heavier. But then I did a drop set. And then I did a drop set. I went 40, uh, 50 kilos, as much as I can, and then I dropped it four times. So that was that first workout. And a uh, bit, bit of rest between, uh, a bit of a rest uh, be between here. And I'm having around, I'm having around uh, 60 seconds to 90 second break between the sets. Obviously the drop set, I'm just dropping it, dropping it, dropping it. Going from 50 kilos to 45 to 40 and so on and so forth. Make sense? Uh, then I did the incline bench press, so I did the decline and then the incline. Sort of similar thing, I just smashed it out, good 5 reps. Once again, when I'm starting to do these, I do 15, 20 reps. Okay, 15, uh, uh, 15 20. 15-20 is just to, you know, just allow to get the more blood into the chest and, uh, and allow you to develop that, to sort of get a good mu muscle-mind connection first off before you start to go heavier and heavier. Uh, you're building strength uh, by, doing, by doing the weights like this, by starting off with a lighter weight but pushing out a lot of reps and then going heavier and lower reps and then heavier and then lower reps and then heavier where you're only doing about four to six reps. And on the very last set, when you, if you drop set it, you are hitting all the different types of uh, fibers and, 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 and the, the goal in mind there would be your endurance is getting, your, your endurance is getting stronger, uh, your endurance is getting better, you're getting stronger because you're doing low reps and now you're actually building a lot more muscle. So you're actually getting three things at once by doing this set. So that's why there's so many sets in here. There's like five or six sets per one, per one workout. And so I, I find them the best for me. I do change them up. Some, a lot of times I don't do drop sets, but there was just to, just to do the drop set today, so. And that was that. Then I did the, uh, this one here was the dumbbell fly with an incline. So um, instead of doing a flat, where you just lay down on, on, on your flat and then do a dumbbell fly, okay, what it is, I had a slight incline, just a slight incline to try to hit more of the upper chest. That's all I did. And once again, uh, hitting it, with one, two, three, four, five. Uh, actually, yeah, fifth set. And on the fifth set, um, I did, uh, yeah, I did, um, what was it, 20 kilos at eight. And by this time, my chest is hammered, right? By that time, my chest is hammered. And then come back down here, and I did the, uh, this was chest press. Once again, went light, just to really pump it out. Squeeze chest. And then one, two, three, four, uh, five, basically five sets there uh, and the very last set was uh, uh, 
three to three times two, which simply means uh, three, um, three, uh, it was uh, three drop sets, three times, uh, times two, I think, I forget what that was, <laughs> but anyway, I went heavier and heavier and heavier um, on the, and once again, going lighter on the, on the chest breast, and then going heavier and heavier and heavier, and then drop setting it at the very end. So that was it there, and then I did calves, I did seated calves, so you see it was just three sets of seated, um, uh, just uh, sort of, yeah, three sets of uh, seated calves, okay, and that was uh, 40, 40, 20, and 50, 30, 10, 10, that was seated calves, ca oh, seated calf raises, and then my next set was three sets of uh, normal calf raises, where I'm actually just standing up, okay, uh, normal calf raises is obviously where you're just standing up, and then you're doing the normal calf raises on the, on the actual machine, with the weights on there. And uh, I really smashed it out doing that. I did something like, what, 30, uh, 60, 90, probably on about 150 to 200 dollar, uh, 150 to 200 reps by doing that, okay? So I, I started off with a lighter weight, maybe 40 kilos, and then I did say 30 with my feet center, 30 with my feet like that, and then 30 with my feet like that. Make sense? And then I added more weight, and then I added more weight, and then I added more weight. So I did about that, and I really smashed out the calves today. And after doing that, my body was totally exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. My chest is exhausted, my calves are really worn out. And then I went on and smashed an ab workout today as well. So my ab workout was was a V-sit-up. I call it a V-sit-up. It was 30 sets times two. Uh, once a V-sit-up is sort of... Where you're bringing your legs off the ground and your and your and your whole sort of top half off the ground, and the only thing that's really touching is your backside. So you can, if you can picture it, if you picture that being sort of your body, uh, I know it's really hard to see, but that's in your body. You come up, and the only thing is the center. So you're coming right up, your legs off the ground, your backs off the your backs off the ground, and it's, it's sitting up and then coming back down and sitting up. That's what we call a V sit up. Really works the abs well. Um, so I did that. That was a V sit up with three times, and then I did a a V sit up with a bicycle movement. Um, once again, as you do the V sit up, sometimes you do the V sit up and then come back down. This time I did the V sit up and then you go one, two, and then come back down. So it's like a bicycle movement. Bicycle is sort of crunch type thing. Um, so I did that, and that was 20, uh, twenty. That was twenty reps times three sets. Then I did cable pulls down. That's pretty self-explanatory. I uh, did 30 reps of that. Of uh, I did 30 reps times four sets. Then I did reverse crunch. It was 30 sets times three. Uh, yeah, 30 sets. Uh, 30 reps times three sets. And then to finish it off was a two-minute plank. So that was my workout regime for today. Uh, just to recap, it was chest, calves, and abs. Some people say, why did you do chest and calves and not chest and tries and stuff like that? Because I wanted to, bitch. I, you know, like it's. It's always good to change things up. Um, so it was a decline, incline, dumbbell flies, chest press, straight into seated calves, straight into stand up calves, and then a massive smashing ab workout as well too. So um, I hope that sort of helps you out when it comes to another, maybe another workout region you could do. Once again, when I'm doing these, um, as you can see a lot of these, especially today, start off really light, splash out 20, 25, 30 reps, and then go heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier, and then drop set that sucker. Go from right up to, if you do say four or five or six sets going up, down to say, you, you, your first light set might be five reps, or right? oh, sorry, it might be 35 reps. But your last set on, on one of the workouts, maybe only four or four, four to six reps, that's okay. When you do that, have a 90 second break, and then come back, and then go from the heaviest all the way down to where, you, where the lightest, okay? So I hope that helps out guys. Um, again, this is just another workout regime, another workout routine. You guys can go out there and try it. Again, it's good for the calves, it's good for the chest, and it's obviously good for the for the abs as well too. Today was sort of me working on the areas that I mostly want to improve on, which are my chest, calves, and abs. So, anyway, guys, John Howell here from GetRipShortcuts.com. Click on the like button if this has really helped you out as well too, and get you, give you give you some ideas. Click on the subscribe button to my Facebook or to my YouTube, and come down and check us out on my Facebook, which is links. Are just below here as well too. Make sure you share this around as well too to uh, for everyone else. So anyway, join Hal here from GetRipShortcuts.com. Stay lean, be clean, and say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, evening, and that is success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up.
take massive action and face your fears today.